hi everyone and welcome or welcome back to my channel i'm august and today i'm going to be doing part three of my declutter series and we're going to be tackling lip products before we jump into this video please don't forget to like comment and subscribe and let's jump straight into it first and foremost y'all please excuse my nails i know they look horrific but i did not have time to redo them and this is just what we're working with right now so let's just go ahead and focus on these lip products and not my nails thank you in advance these products right here that are laid out were in my shop my stash i did want to take everything like all of my lip products and put them out just so i could see what i have some of these were also on my vanity and i just put them here so i'm gonna run through these ones really quick and then we'll jump into the organizer first up i have the revlon color stay ink and i've only used this a couple times but i really did enjoy it so i'm gonna keep next i have this mark jacobs lip gloss that i usually keep in my purse keeping next i have the mini melt lip plumping glosses from elf these are so good and i'm really glad that i picked these up when i did and if elf still has these on their website i'm ordering backups so obviously i'm gonna keep these next up i have these color pop lippy sticks from their wild child collection i've been really enjoying these as well and i'm going to keep here is a lippy that i got in a boxy charm this month that i've been really enjoying it's i think it's a lip balm gloss type of thing and it's really good so i'm gonna keep this Next up, I have this ColourPop Lip Oil Luxe in the shade Rain Check, and I actually really enjoy this. I'm almost done with it, and I have a backup already, so I'm going to keep. And last, from what was on my vanity slash in my shop, my stash, this Too Faced Lip Injection Extreme. I actually let this sit in my collection a little bit too long because the first time I tried it, I didn't really like it. So I just let it sit in my collection, and it expires in one year, basically, after you open it. So I actually tried to use this last month and it burned my lip. Like I know it's supposed to tingle and burn a little bit, but it actually left like a burn mark on my lip because I think it's because it's expired. And I just wanted to include this in my declutter because if you have this at home, I just want you to know that it's not safe to use after 12 months. I don't want you guys to have to go through that. So I just wanted to share my experience with you guys just in case you guys have this one at home and yeah you need to use it before it expires next up i have my nyx this is milky glosses i just did a video on this not too long ago i'll have it linked down below i really love these glosses i'm not getting rid of any of them and i also have this nyx bear with me cannabis sativa seed oil lip conditioner that i've been enjoying as well so i'm gonna keep all of these Okay, so next up I have my MAC lipsticks and my Juvia's Place lipsticks. And honestly, I have not used these MAC lipsticks in a while. These are actually new. This color is so pretty. I'm going to keep that. Um, I'm not sure that I'll declutter any of these though because when I want a lipstick, this, these two formulas are the formulas that I will typically go for. So yeah, this one's really pretty. Um, and I honestly don't even know what colors these are. So this is a hot pink that I just accidentally dug my nail in I don't see myself using this one so that one can that one can probably just go and then this oh this is pretty what shade is this this is mocha this is pretty I'm keeping that for sure and then the last one I have is cream in your coffee this is an old one for me let me smell it and see Honestly, this still smells good and it still swatches nicely. I'm going to keep it. Hopefully it still is fine to use. Honestly, wait a minute. No, I might have to go ahead and declare this one too. It's so old. Like it's broken and it just looks so mm, like it needs to go. I wasn't expecting to do this, but I'm going to go ahead and declutter these two and keep these four. Okay, so next let's jump into my Juvia's Place lipsticks. I doubt that I will get rid of any of these, but I'll just tell you guys what shades I have because these are fairly new to my collection and I've really been enjoying them. But I have the shade Toffee, Me, Kevy, Lady, and Coco. So I'm keeping all of those. This formula is so nice. Like, honestly... This is probably going to be the only lipstick formula that I continue to purchase besides what I have. Like after I'm done with what I have, I just need these and I'm good. Like next up, I have my Fenty Beauty Gloss Bomb collection. I already know I'm not getting rid of any of these, but I'll tell you guys which shades I have. So I have Pretty Please, Hot Chocolate, Ruby Milk and Baby Brew, Cheeky and Fussy. 
Sweet Mouth and Taffy Teas, Confetti and Diamond Milk, um, Fenty Glow and Fussy. I have a full size of Fussy. Then I have the new Fenty Cream Lip Glosses. I have Honey Waffles, Fenty Glow, and I also bought another one that will be in my next um, haul that I'm going to do. And I also have Glass Slipper and Cake Shake. So those are all of my Fenty Gloss Bombs. I'm not getting rid of none of them. I make no apologies. This is just what it is. So they're all staying. I might just switch that just for that because I have a CD and I need everything to look aesthetically pleasing. Next up, I have my Maybelline Lip Lifter Glosses. I'm not getting rid of any of these. As you guys know, this is my favorite lip gloss of all time. And I have a video where I swatch and try on every single one of these shades. So if you haven't seen that already, I will have it linked down below. Um, I have all 15 shades, even the ones that are exclusively sold at CVS. So I'm not getting rid of any of those. And I don't want to make this video longer than it needs to be. So I'm just going to push that to the side. So this organizer is my catch-all lippy organizer. And it's not organized at all. So I'm going to go through this and declutter it. And then we're going to reorganize it together. First up, I have all of my e.l.f. lip glosses. I don't even think this is all of them, but most of them, I would say. I have two from the Retro Paradise collection. I have the Electric Lemonade one, which is a nice blue lip gloss. And I have the A Moment one, which is a really sparkly lip gloss. Y'all, I have so many of these e.l.f. lip lacquers. I really like these and the formula is so good. Um, I'm going to keep them all. I'm going to keep them all. I'm not forcing myself to get rid of things just for the sake of the video. And I'm going to be real with you guys about what I like and what I use and what I don't use. Okay, so this next drawer gets a little more interesting because it's just different brands and stuff like that. I'm going to start back here with these two Wet n Wild lippies. I'm, gonna keep, I'm keeping both of those. And I have my MAC Lip Glass. I'm going to keep that as well. So next I have three of the Dose of Colors Liquid Lipsticks. And just from looking at these, can you guys see how disgusting this one looks? Like, look at this. This was my favorite one, but it is super expired. So I'm going to go ahead and toss this one. And I already purchased the backup of this, so I can just toss this out so I'm keeping Desert Suede and Brick. Next, I have two Dose of Colors lip glosses from their um, Disney collection. I have one and only and Moi. This, I purchased so many backups of this. It's actually on sale right now because they're discontinuing it. And I think I'm going to purchase more backups because this is my favorite lip gloss ever. Like this shade is so bomb on top of anything or even by itself. So I definitely want to purchase more backs of this. I already have a backup of this as well. These shades are so nice and they're on sale right now on Dose of Colors website for $5 because they're being discontinued. So if you um, want to get some of these to try out or if you need backups, run, don't walk. Next, I have the 24K Gold from Nick K. These are some really nice lip glosses I'm going to keep. This is a lip plumper from Milani in Soft Rose. I'm going to keep it. Next, I have my three Revlon lip glosses. I have All That Glitters, Coco Crush, and Super Natural. These are so nice. I'm going to keep. Next, I have my Chanel lip gloss in the shade Rogue Coco. Um, I need to purchase the backup of this because I'm almost done, but I'm going to keep. And then this is a bomb. Oh, did I just do that or was that like that? Look at that. I messed it up, but this is just an iridescent lip balm and I keep this in my purse just to be a little fancy and pull out a little Chanel to apply. Next, I have my Il Maquillage Liquid Lipstick and Lip Gloss. I actually really love these together and these are fairly new to my collection, so I'm going to keep. Next, I have these Ulta Lip Glosses from their Essence Girls United collection. I got these for a dollar and honestly, I don't think I've even used all of them. Oh, I use this one, but these other ones are still in their packaging and I'm going to keep them because I want to try them out, especially this one. That one looks so interesting to me. Next, I have some Fenty Matte Mazelle Lipstick. I have the shades Shoddy, Single, and Candy Venom. Candy Venom is still in its packaging. 
So this is still in its original packaging, untouched. I'm gonna add this to my giveaway pile because I'm not really interested in that color. And I'm gonna go ahead and keep these other two Fenty lipsticks. Next, I have this lip topper from Jouer, and I actually thought this was a lip gloss when I purchased it at Marshalls, but it's a lip topper and it is so pretty. I feel like I can use this on top of a brown lipstick and it'll just be so gorgeous. So I am going to keep it. And last in these drawers, I have my Hank and Henry lipsticks. These are so pretty. This is the shade um, Sext. Look at this brown and it has like that pink shimmer. This is just so gorgeous. This is not going anywhere. So this one is Love. This is my favorite red. It is so gorgeous. Like how gorgeous is that? So obviously keeping both of these. And that is it for this drawer. So next I have these NYX Liquid Suede Lipsticks and a Cosmic Metal Lip Cream. Um... Yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and declutter these. The only one that I would reach for is this one, but I have so many browns that I can just I can just get rid of this altogether. So, I'm going to declutter those. Next up, I have these half caked lipsticks. Um yeah, I'm I'm just going to go ahead and declutter all three of these cuz I don't see myself picking them up. I just don't. Next, I have these ColourPop Ultra Glossy Lips that I got in their Sunflower Collection, and I really like these. I'm going to go ahead and keep them. I need to use them more because, yeah, they're really gorgeous. Next, I have this Too Faced um, Candy Rich Lip Gloss. I didn't like this one, and I'm going to go ahead and declutter it. I was only keeping it for the packaging, to be honest, because when I first used it, I was like, oh, no. So next I have this Iconic London Lip Gloss. It's like a lip plumping gloss and I really like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep. And then I have this Luna by Luna Lip Gloss. I don't remember if I like this or not, to be honest. So let's see. So I don't really like the wand for this. The shade is really pretty, but the formula is just so blah that I can just, I can, I can get rid of that. Next I have my Strobe Lip Glosses from AR Beauty. I really love these and I'm gonna keep them because I reach for these a lot. And as you can see, this one's almost done. So yeah, I really like these. Next I have this Dominique Cosmetics Lemonade Lip Gloss. Um, let me actually try this on because I don't remember if I like this. This one is really nice. I'm gonna go ahead and keep it. Next, I have this Morphe lip gloss in the shade Frosé. Um, I got this a while ago, and I feel like I don't use this enough. Um, yeah, this is really pretty, though, and I don't feel like I use it enough, so I'm going to keep it. Next up, I have this liquid lipstick from BGC Glam in the shade O2. I just got this, and I only used it once, and it really shocked me how beautiful this looked on me because I usually don't like reds on me, but this one looks really good, so I'm going to keep it. Next, I have this um, lip gloss from DD Collection. She sent this over to me. It's just a clear gloss, and I think I need to keep this in my purse because I need a clear gloss like on hand. So I'm gonna keep this in my purse from now on. And then I have this Galactic Jelly Gloss Balm that I really love, and I'm gonna keep. Goodness, I feel like I'm not decluttering anything, but let's continue. Maybe I'm doing something. I don't know. So, um. Next, I have these two NARS lippies. These are their, these are their velvet glosses. I have the shade Swing and Bound. These are so pretty. I need to use these more and I'm going to keep them. Next, I have this LA Colors Intense Color Lip Gloss. Let me see how this even looks because I got this from Dollar Tree and I don't even think I've tried it yet. No, I'm going to go ahead and declutter this one. That's not really my speed right there. Next, I have this Mini YSL Lipstick in the number five. Um, like This looks really pretty and it's just a mini and I never reached for it before, but that looks really gorgeous. Look how big that swatch is. I'm going to keep that. So next I have this Magnetic Lip Plush Paint from Nude Sticks. I've never used this before. Is it really magnetic? Like what? Um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this. This does not look like a color that I would ever use. So no point in keeping that. Next, I have this Velvet Lip Perfector from Clarence. Clarence. Um, it looks like I've used it before, but I don't remember if I like it. Oh, this is really pretty. I'm going to go ahead and keep that. 
Next, I have my Maybelline Superstay Matte Inks. These three are from their coffee collection, and I use these like crazy this fall. I'm going to keep these. They're not going anywhere. Next, I have my entire AR Beauty Ultra Matte Lipstick Collection, and... To be honest, I use every single one of these and I don't see myself getting rid of them. Even the purple and the blue and like the pinks, I use them as eyeliners as well as lipsticks. So I'm keeping all of these. They're not going anywhere. Okay, and now the last and final drawer. Starting off with this NYX Intense Butter Gloss in the shade Tress Leches. I think I'm gonna go ahead and declutter this because I never, I never reach for this. Next, I have two ColourPop Luxe Glosses. I really like these and I'm going to go ahead and keep them. Next, I have a Soap and Glory Lippy. I'm going to keep it. I really like this shade. I need to use this more though. Next, I have this really pretty iridescent um, Buxom Lip Gloss in the shade Selena. I really like this and I'm going to keep it. Next, I have these two Vampify Lipsticks from MAC. These are so old. I want to smell it just to see like if it still smells good. To be honest, these still smell good, but I'm still going to declutter them because I don't feel comfortable putting these on my lips just because how old they are. This used to be my go-to lip combo. I used to like line my lips with the brown and then fill it in with this like pinky shade. It used to look so good, but I'm going to go ahead and just throw these out. Next, I have this Appeal Holographic Lip Gloss. I don't remember where I got this from. might have been in a BoxyCharm, but... Um, I'm gonna go ahead and declutter this. This just did not impress me. Next, I have two of my Superstay 24 color from Maybelline. I really like these and I'm gonna keep them. Definitely keeping my NYX Butter Glosses. I love these. Next, I have these two MAC Lip Glass. These are really old as well. And honestly, this one looks finished. So I'm gonna declutter this one. I'm gonna go ahead and declare this one too, just because I don't reach for it and um, I have so many browns that I don't really need it. So I'm gonna declare it. Next, I have these two LA Colors lip glosses. So I'm gonna declare this one because the glitters are just too chunky for my liking. And then this one I'm gonna throw in my purse so I can just use it up. Next, I have these two LA Colors lip oils. Um, I had another one and I think I used it up. So I'm gonna keep these because I do like them. This I already know I'm never going to use, so I'm going to go ahead and declutter it. Next, I have this Cocoa Butter Lip Oil Gloss from AOA, and I really hate how this smells. I cannot take this smell, so I'm going to throw this away. Next, I have this Sephora Lip Gloss, and I'm almost done with this, so I might as well finish it. I'm going to keep it. Next, I have this Sol de Janeiro Lip Balm. I've only had this for a little while, and can you guys see, like, the little lumps in it? Like, this is such a weird formula, and it's so dry. Honestly, this is so bad. I'm going to declutter it. Next, I have this Manicadar Liquid Lipstick. Um, it's pretty, but I'm not going to reach for it, so I'm going to go ahead and declutter this. Next, I have this St. Ives Lip Scrub. This is my only lip scrub, so I'm going to keep it. Um, Over here, I have this Burt's Bees Lip Shimmer in the shade Peony. This is nice, but I don't use it, so I'm just going to go ahead and declutter it. Next, I have this mini Makeup Forever lipstick. Um, this shade looks nice and all, but I'm going to go ahead and pass this along because I just, I've had it and I don't use it as you guys can see. Next, I have this Milani Bold Matte lipstick. Um, ooh, this looks really pretty and I've never used it. I'm going to keep it. I need to pull this out. I need to put this somewhere where I can see it. So I'm going to put this over there. Next I have this e.l.f. lipstick. This shade is really pretty and I do reach for it from time to time so I'm gonna keep it. And I also have this Milani lipstick that I just recently got. I'm gonna keep. So next I have this black wet and wild lipstick I used for Halloween. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and declutter it because I'm not about to use this again to be honest. So next I have this lipstick thing from Floss and um yeah, I don't know about this one. I think I'm going to go ahead and pass this one along. Next, I have these two Remy Rose lip glosses. I'm going to keep this one, but I'm going to declutter this one. The glitter in here is just not, not for me. Next, I have my e.l.f. Rider Dye Lip Balm in Tough Cookie. This is my favorite one, and I'm going to keep it. I also have the shade uh, Cheeky Cherry, and I'm going to keep it. Next, I have this Milk Makeup Face Gloss. This is honestly super old. I got a good amount of use out of it, so I'm going to go ahead and declutter it. 
Next, I have two of the e.l.f. Jelly Pop Juicy Glosses. These are really good, and I'm going to keep them. Next, I have my OG Broadway Lip Glosses. I feel like everybody has these. These are really good, and I'm going to keep them. And next, I have my only So Juicy ColourPop Lip Plumping Gloss, and I really like this one. This is the shade Intersection, and it's really nice, so I'm going to keep it. My last two. This is a little mini Buxom Lip Plumping Gloss. It's really pretty, and I'm going to keep it. Do you guys see how tiny this is? I used a hundred points at Sephora to get this. And look how look how small that is. Like what the size of it alone makes me want to get rid of it. Like that applicator on my lips is just like a needle in a haystack. Like I can't believe I had to use a hundred points to get this little bit of lip gloss. But I'm gonna go ahead and declutter it because look at that applicator. Y'all see my lips. Like that's not no. I'm not about to waste my time with this. Declutter. And this is everything that I'm getting rid of. I'm not even going to bother trying to count everything because I know I have a billion lip glosses and lipsticks and I don't even want to do the count. But I actually did much better than I expected because I was able to fill up this little box with stuff. So I'm pretty proud of what I'm able to get rid of. Now I'm going to go ahead and filter back in the items that I'm going to keep into this organizer and try to make it as nice as possible. And I'm going to do like a little speed through organization of this so you guys can just see how I organize it. I almost forgot to declutter my lip pencils so I'm gonna go ahead and speed through this as well and just show you guys what I'm keeping and what I'm getting rid of and then I'll show you guys how I organize my drawers. So here are all the lip liners that I'm gonna keep and here are all the lip liners that I'm gonna declutter. Okay guys so here is my acrylic drawers all organized. Just to show you guys how it looks on the inside, here are all my e.l.f. lip plumping glosses as well as some of my lip lacquers that could fit. Here are my Dose of Colors, my Mini Melts, my Essence, some of my ColourPop, and I really just put these in here just based off the packaging, like what could fit. So that's that drawer. This drawer is so satisfying. These are like some shorter tubed lip glosses. These are all squared lip glosses and lipsticks. And down here I have my squeezy tubed and oddly shaped um, lippies. And then here I have my AR collection along with my LA Colors and my ColourPop lippy sticks and my NYX butter glosses and my Sleep and Glory is in the back. Honestly, this drawer is not as satisfying, but that's okay. It's fine. So that is it, guys. Everything is all decluttered and reorganized. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.